Hello everyone, it's the Architects here. Today I want to show you DeFi Render 2.4 new features. For this building, I have rendered a scene and I've placed it in the channel. As you can see here, I rendered this scene with the previous version of D5. But as you can realize, rendering quality wasn't good as I accepted. But if we look into new version 2.4 of D5, there is a massive changing with the global illumination. Let me show you. At the very first, I am going to change the lighting method to Geo and Sky. And it's already seems very elegant, but we are gonna increase this with the new assets of D5, which is background image. Well, actually you can do it manually, but for this kind of items, actually predetermined items, makes your projects faster. I'm just going to go to Assess and from here click Model and we have new landscapes. As you can see here we have trees and fountain. I'm gonna place them both. This one to here you can see it's visible and also I'm going to place one more and it's going to be layered in the background. Maybe not from this angle, but I can place it to this angle. Let's place it here and rotate to make it visible in the camera. I think the closest angle is here with this render. And we will activate two point perspective. But in order to achieve this, first we must go to preferences and turn off this legacy two point perspective view compatible mod. And now I can hit F8. And click this update. By the way, it's not visible. Maybe we can place it to here. Maybe closer to camera. And between the building and our project. Something like this. Maybe we can move the car to here. And after doing this, I'm going to add a fog to the mountains. To achieve it, we are going to activate this fog and increase the density. Now it's a little blue. After that, from effect, I'm gonna play around with settings. To get darker corners we can use vignettes and I want more highlight in the render. There's shadow and I'm gonna fix the stop kind of this and change exposure maybe we can change the height of the sun and north offset as you can see here our vegetation's global illumination is very realistic according to previous render this is so fake and this is more realistic 
To sum up for the global innovation, we will see the shadows in this version. And this is our render. If you want to compare this with this one, you can see the shadows are darker and here and shadows are brighter according to the previous render. Alright, other main feature is about vehicle path. Now we can play around with the vehicle path corners. Let me show you. From the top middle of the window, we can click this path tool and click vehicle. Let's pick up any kind of car, for instance this one, and place randomly. As you can see, we have some problems with the corners. We can fix this. First, we click the corner and we will see this new smoothness effect. And by increasing this value, we can fix these corners. And if you want to turn this linear to curve, you can make it too. You can use this curve if you want to make a smooth transition with the slightly curved road. But instead of that, if you want to turn from sharp corners, you can just use linear and change smoothness. Let's click done. And now we can play around with the settings and take our animation. Alright, we have another scene here. And in this scene we will see subsurface scattering material. Actually, this scene lapse was prepared with the cloth material. But instead of that, we can use subsurface scattering. It was before like this and I changed this with the subsurface scattering. And now, as you can see, they are brighter and we can see lights clearly. Also same things are going on with the vegetations. By the way, you are always asking me my computer specifications. I'm using Intel i5, 8400 and for the graphic card, I'm using RTX 3070 and I have 16 GB RAM. Yeah, I know it's not too much, it's average computer specification, but I can do my renderings and doing my job. If we turn back to the D5, of course there are more new features, but I don't have samples for them, I'm gonna show you from the starting screen. Here we have new in 2.4, new D5 GI. We have optimized emissive effect. They're always adding something in the future. They will say it was not enough. We are just added another improvement for the GI or emissive. I think it's kind of weird. Anyway. We have subsurface scattering material. Higher output frame rate. With this one you can make slow motion effects in your animations. I have shown you the pad tool. And some library updates. Alright guys, that was all it for this video. I have tried to show this with some examples. If you like this, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions and suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, have a nice day.